worksheet two is just an extension of the law of sines, now doing much more uh, hands-on calculations than the theory of the law of sines. So the law of sines is the sine of A over A equals the sine of B over B, sine of C over C. These proportions, they're easy to remember because it's the angle over its opposite side, the sine of the angle over the opposite side. So if I'm looking at this first relationship here, I'm looking always for a pairing when it comes to the law of sine. So you'll notice that I, I see my pairing here. And so I know it's the sine of 42 is to 12. And from this point, I can just start setting things up um, and solving. So <clears throat> usually they want you to solve for the entire triangles uh, item. So I'm looking for B and I'm looking for C. I'm looking for angle C, which actually is not that hard to find. But let's do this. <coughs> so this would be the sine of 98 over little b. And we would cross multiply. So 12 times the sine of 98 equals the sine of 42 times b. And we would divide both sides by the sine of 42. Let me grab my calculator <coughs> to do this. Where is it? So 12 times the sine of 98 divided by the sine of 42 tells me that B is 17.76, approximately. I'm rounding to two decimal places but that would be the length of that side. <clears throat> so, and it makes sense that this would be longer the bigger the angle uh, than the bigger the side. There's a relationship there. Now the last angle is not known currently, but we can find that quite easily, can't we? We can just take 180 and subtract the 98 and subtract the 42. So this is a 40 degree angle. We can, well, so that's one more thing that we know. We know the measure of angle C is 40 degrees. The last thing is C, and maybe for time and such I won't calculate it. Let me set it up though. I would use the sine of 42 is 212 as the sine of 40 is to little c. And I would cross multiply and ob obtain that as well. Um, again, well I could do that in my head, it would be the sine of 40 times 12 divided by the sine of 42. Actually, I don't think that was in my head, was it? But uh, anyways, I get C being approximately 11.53. And I've solved out the full triangle. Let's show you just one other little case that's different. Not much different. Um, here, um, you'll notice that the law of sine seems to be hard to obtain because I know an angle, but I don't know its uh, side. I know an angle, but I don't know its side. I don't know the angle, but I know a side. But <clears throat> you and I know that 180 minus 72 minus 81 will obtain the value for this little tiny angle of 27. So now I can say the sine of 27 is to 8 as the sine of 72 is to e or whatever and, uh, and continue the solving process. So sometimes you have to look at the, uh, the sum of the triangle being 180 to help you out. That's all I wanted to warn you about.